Chairman. You know, the majority earlier said that this measure is just common sense. So I have a question. Is it common sense not to consider the interests of state and local governments in allowing FERC to have this permitting process? My amendment is quite simple. The concerns of state and local communities must be considered in any natural gas pipeline permitting process and should not be disadvantaged by a permit approval process that weighs heavily in favor of the pipeline industry and could deem approved a permit that tramples the concerns of communities that are affected. Now this issue I know all too well. Three years ago, a pipeline exploded in my district. I don't want that to happen to any of you. But let me tell you what happened in my district. First of all, when it exploded, no one knew that there was a pipeline running in the middle of a densely populated area. The fire department didn't know, the police department didn't know, the city manager didn't know, the city council didn't know. And it took over an hour and a half for the local gas operator to go to another destination, pick up a key, come back to the community, and open the gate so they could turn off the valve. Meanwhile, what happened? There were eight lives lost in that explosion. There were 38 homes totally destroyed with just the concrete pad left. 45 other homes badly damaged. Three people were considered missing for more than two weeks because there was so little DNA left from the intense fire to positively identify them. There are people in that community today, three years later, who are still shell-shocked. And the city fathers and mothers are very concerned about making sure that pipeline safety includes notifying local communities. One of the truly frightening lessons of the San Bruno tragedy was that the many pipeline operators don't even fully know the conditions of their own pipelines. I can tell you that my communities are much more aware and engaged in natural gas pipeline safety and location decisions. The concerns and objections of state and local officials must be adequately considered and taken into account in the decision-making process on where to place potentially dangerous natural gas transmission lines. The consequences of these decisions to local communities cannot be overstated. They have a fundamental stake in these decisions on whether to permit a new pipeline project in their communities. I ask to you to support my amendment that would ensure that at the very least, FERC considers and responds to local and state concerns or objections submitted as part of the FERC permit process before a natural gas pipeline permit is approved or potentially deemed approved. I yield back, Mr. Chairman.